Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It has just been dropped, all of the new Season 15 rewards. I'm a little bit late to report on it, I've been to work, so I'm a little bit delayed. I haven't even got changed yet, so never mind. But yeah, we're going to be diving in, we're going to be checking over them, and I'll be giving my honest review. Hopefully it's better than the last couple. I think the la In fact, I think the last one was somewhat alright. I think it was one before that where I was really disappointed, I think. Maybe? Yeah, yeah it is. I think that's right. Anyways, let's dive in and find out how many repeats of the same Power Armor skin they can throw into this one. If you enjoy, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and let's check it out. So, Season 15 rewards. Let's have a look. That actually at rank 3, straight away there, off the back. That looks like a pretty nice skin. So I'm going to zoom in a little. How, how zoomed can we go? Is that a bit too much? We'll do that. That's about... That's alright. So, rank 1 there is nothing. Uh, rank 2 you got the perk card pack and for Fallout First Newt Cola mix pack. You've also got the poker paint for the combat shotgun, which I actually think looks awesome. It's just a shame that same old story with Fallout where we get really cool skins for weapons that you don't use. Like This would look mint on so many weapons, but I just never understand why they can't release a skin for multiple weapons, like why can't it just be an all-round skin instead of for an individual weapon? I'll never, I'll never understand it. Anyways, clear icon there fe featuring the kind of clear theme of the um, casino and stuff like that. Well, it's got lunch boxes at rank four. We've got a stack of cards which fits in quite well with the like cards and stuff, which I think we got last season or with the atomic shop. One of the two, but you got some cards that you could place down. New Cola six part at rank six. Circuit Breaker player icon, which is pretty cool at rank 6 for Fallout First. Boxing Glove, uh, I'm going to say hanging on your wall. Oh, it's a wall decoration. I thought it was going to be a backpack um, Wajima Macaulay, but no, it's not. So there you go. It's going to call them medallions. What are they called again? You know what I mean. Them things. Anyways, Jackpot T45 Power Armor. There's the first one. I actually quite like the look of that Power Armor. Not going to lie. It's just going to be another same old, but we've got seven variants of the same one for every armor type. We've also got this massive supply crate. Look at that thing. Ultra side supply crate. That also looks really good. So I'm really liking that. Scout's banner at rank 9, as well as Atoms at rank 10, and this King of Clubs poster. So far, some alright items. I like that. I like that. I like the power armor. I like the ultra side supply crate. And I really like that skin as well. So strong start, I'm gonna say. Going on at the next page, you get 500 caps, then a holiday tree. Flare display, flare, that's it, not medallions, bloody flares. Uh, I do like that though, that's quite cool as well. We've also, oh my god, you get the poker paint for the combat rifle slash fixer. That looks awesome, I actually really like that skin, that's really good. I don't know what you guys think, let me know in the comments, but I think that skin looks really, really nice. Really looking forward to that. You also get 100 script at rank 12, rank 13, you'll get that fixer skin then you get four cards uh four kings playing card rugs oh that's pretty cool so you get four different variants in one there um three carry weight boosters at rank 14 fallout first then legendary modules then we got a five percent score boost as normal five stamps poker chips stool that actually looks really cool as well this is a strong start to a season not gonna lie normally i'm I think, I think I'm feeling a lot more positive than I would. Normally I'm a bit more negative than this, but this is a really strong start. Rerollers, Jackpot Excavator, just the next one in that, as always. Uh, score Booster, then we got the red and yellow H and H Tool Scrap Box, which I think I've seen Date Mine before, so it's all right, nothing too crazy. Glad to see some skins for the Scrap Box, so 150 atoms at rank 20. Going on at 21 to 30 now, look at that safe door. That's a nice reskin of the Vault one that we got before. Oh, and you can also get the poker paint. Is this how they're going to do it? I think this is how they're going to do it. So they're basically just going to throw in this skin like they do on the power armors, but for bloody every weapon you can think of. But it does look awesome. It's a really, really nice skin. And on the chainsaw, it looks really good as well. Legendary modules, rank 23. Conqueror player icon, company tea kettle. Enjoy a spot of tea in the comfort of your own camp. Maybe it generates tea? Maybe? And here we've got a new one, a mystery bobblehead box. Fill your collection with a random bobblehead thanks to your friends at vault Uh 
Right, that's the worst thing I've seen so far, not going to lie. Um, moving on from that though, uh, Casino Carpet Floor and Foundations, that's a pretty funky looking carpet. We've also got a cool, elegant chandelier coming in. We've got another skin for that power armor, um, or another variant of that skin, I should say. Scout's Banner, 100 script, Adam's Red Gangster Fedora. So, pretty poor page on that one. I like the skin, I like the door. The door realistic is just a reskin. The kettle thing kind of sounds interesting. Bobblehead, I'm really not a fan of. I wanted a bobblehead, I'd go pick one up. Oh my god, that's... Oh, this is one of my favourite skins they've added in, you know. That looks phenomenal. That, I don't know if you can see it so well. So try and zoom in. That does not work whatsoever. Um, but no, that skin is looking nice. That is really nice. Score booster, jackpot photo frame, re-rollers, stamps, circuit breaker skin now for the... I'm going to say, is it the... Not 10 mil. Is that not the... What you call, is it? Is it the un, not the unclear pistol? The thingy pistol? Is it... My memory. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but... I don't know. It will... How is it a legendary variant? It will be lights out for your enemies when you wield this charged up legend... It is. It's a legendary variant. Is it a Crusader pistol? Or is it a 10 mil? I don't know. No, I think that's a 10 mil. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Lunch boxes at 36. Blue nine ball tables. So we'll get another variant of that. I also really like this pool hall rack. That looks pretty cool. That's going to be awesome, that and that. Um, but another one where it's linked with this rug for the player kind of interaction around it. But I understand why they have to do it. Uh, that skin there looks pretty cool as well for the T60. Gambler Fort mode frame. The vault -Tec Supply Package uh, Crate. Sorry, level 3. Atoms. Then we get this awesome looking variant. The diamond paint for the circuit breaker. So I'm going to presume this is going to be very similar to the double barrel shotgun type of thing. Where we got that variant added in constantly throughout season 13. Um, so I'm presuming they're just doing that. But this time with a 10 mil. It's definitely a 10 mil, but with the skins, it's kind of deceiving. It looks like a Desert Eagle on that one with a silencer on. So yeah, looks really awesome. I'm hoping that's the case, and I'm hoping it's really overpowered and actually usable. So that would be awesome, and that's rank 40. Skin looks fantastic. I love that. Going on to the next page now, we've got cap, scrap kit, script. Then we've got the poker paint for the circuit breaker, which looks pretty cool as well uh we've got the ace of diamonds poster we've got the red gangster suit which looks really really cool that matches the fedora we've seen on the previous page we've got the grand marble staircase as well which looks really nice that's gonna look very very fancy in some camps carry weight at rank 46 250 bullion window blinds which is pretty interesting a bit of a change there on the curtains that we normally get. I wonder if they're interactable and they like fold up and down. That'll be really cool. Jackpot skin for the X01, rerollers, atoms, per coins, and then a score boost. Going on to 51 to 60, we've got the atoms, Ruby and Alex player icons, mounted dollfish. So that's what they're actually called, a dollfish. Head, uh, look at that as well. Gauss minigun skin for that new poker paint as well. They're going really all out on that skin. Uh, legendary modules, you've also got the blackout paint for the circuit breaker now. So lots of different variants of this circuit breaker new legendary pistol. And look at this thing as well, a trident. Put fear in the heart of Myalux when you wield the trident. So it appears, oh my god, look at that crate as well. So it appears this one they're going quite in with unique legendary uh, weapons. I'm presuming this is because of... The kind of success that we got with the my mind is gone again the double barrel shotgun the one oh begins with a bloody oh. why can't i remember the name i literally carry one round with me in the game sorry i don't know it's like i said it's been a long day but you know what i mean the bloody one with a cool and stuff coming off it, then you got the gold variant and stuff as well. Oh my god, it's gonna do my head in for the rest of this video. What is it called? The uh, people's gonna be screaming at me in the comments for this. I'm gonna look like right idiot, whatever it's called. But that trident thing looks really cool. Jack of Spades poster, scrap kit, pirate chess, 
uh, stash box as well, which looks really cool. A jackpot, uh, ultra side skin, stamp, score booster, atoms, bullion. Going on to the next page now, 61 to 70, we've got another, oh hang on, a crate full of radioactive ore, all your ultra sight needs. Why? There's a couple of things in this scoreboard where I just think to myself, you're taking like filler content, it's nice to have a bit different filler content, but why do you need a bunch of radioactive ore for your ultra sight needs? Who's in desperate need of ultra sight? That's my question. I don't know. Gazebo Survival 10, though, that's a pretty cool one coming in there. So if you've got Fallout Fest, you can claim that. Poker pain for the Gatling Plasma. That's the worst looking one so far, I think, in my opinion. It reminds me of another skin that we've had before for it. But it does look quite cool, I suppose, if you're into the Gatling Plasma, if you're still using that. Uh, Jack and Diane player icons. You've got the Carry Wave boosters. Uh, you've got the Heist plan board, which looks pretty damn cool. I really like that. That's actually got pictures on it as well. I presume these will be characters from inside the new expeditions, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Scouts banner, forklift as well coming in now that we've seen data mined. We've also got a new flare with the red and black poker chip backpack flare. Nuclear key cards, jackpot skin for the Hellcat. Queen of Hearts poster, 250 script, then 150 atoms. I'm really, oh my god. Oh, no, it's still this, it's the old one still. Never mind. I'm really confused why they didn't update the community calendar at the same time as, by the way. Going on to the next one, Lunchboxes Interrogation Chair, which is very similar to a chair that's already in the game. Um, but it's just a little bit of a twist on a bit of a reskin. 100 gold bullion. Then we've got poker paint for the Gatling laser. A weapon that does look really cool on that picture. I do like the colour combination. But it's a weapon I don't really think many people use, if any. Legendary modules, King and Queen player icons, gold, score booster, heart-shaped bed for anyone wanting to make love out there in the wasteland. Scout banners, we've also got a jackpot ammo storage paint uh, for the ammo box. We've got the jackpot T65 skin, stamps, gold, atoms. Oh, and look at this, a new vendor, circus vending machine. That's pretty funky. It seems to have a lot of different bits and bobs on that, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Going at the 81 to 90, 2,500 caps, poker den wallpaper, per cards, Poker paint for the grenade launcher now. We've also got the nuclear key cards. We've got a new flare with the gold poker chip. Iced bag backpack. That's pretty cool. I wonder what the deal is with this money falling off it. Is it just going to have constant money falling out of it? I don't know. Weather control station. Atlantic City Boardwalk. If you haven't seen it, I did do a video on these. Um, test them out and stuff. So feel free to go check them out. Five repair kits. Rerollers. Auto mode frame. Jackpot paint for the union another bobblehead uh yeah my uh marble floor and foundations atoms and then a slot bot stein display that's quite cool i quite like that nice although i don't really get the whole stein display thing i, I used to like it now i kind of lost interest in it uh diamonds dress outfit we've got 250 script gold bullion gambler's skull stein that's a pretty cool one i kind of like that it's got like a little roulette table on its head uh marine salvage display frame that's pretty cool as well um i wasn't gonna say what's a crack with this marine thing but when you actually look at uh, atlantic city and stuff there's kind of like that kind of theme in areas of the place so it's pretty cool repair kit white modern home kitchen set the dealer mr fuzzy plushie which is kind of funky uh gold per coins lunch boxes firewood the perfect half decoration but when you want to show the world you've got money to burn so it actually has a lot of stacks of pre-war money and you can throw it in, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then finally at rank 100, you get, oh my goodness me. That is beautiful. That is that is one of the best, that is one of the best power armor skins I think I've ever seen in the game. Hands down. I love, like, I don't know if anyone's seen that thing where it was like, sh shouting out about the kind of, all men think about Rome once a day or something, but that is awesome. That's really cool. Big score player icon, the big score game board, 500 atoms, and the pavilion kit. Create the perfect picnic area with this pavilion kit. There you go. Bit of a stuff there, but there. There you go, guys. What do you think about this new scoreboard? I've got to be honest, I actually quite like it. I think it's pretty decent. There is a lot of filler in there, which I don't understand, like the bobbleheads. I think that's a waste of time. Don't know why they've done that. 
Um, because bobbleheads, if you really want them, you go searching for them. There's routes to go, there's certain locations which tend to have them. Like, I don't know, I don't really get that one, but there is a lot of cool stuff. I love the skins. There doesn't seem to be that many outfits. I can only remember the red, like, poker player, uh, mafia boss one. I don't feel like there's many outfits in there, which is a change to normal. This skin, though, is magnificent. Oh, well, there you go, guys, and that's a little look at the new scoreboard coming in called The Big Score. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new scoreboard. Uh, do you like it like I do? Which is a change, because normally I do complain a lot about these. So, yeah, I do like it. Um, and if you can remember the name of that bloody shotgun that everyone loves, please comment it below, because it's still doing my head in. The Kerr... Yeah, I've lost it. I've lost it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.